Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at not one, but two Winter Circle 164 scale diecasts. Uh, I know that's not the full first wave. We're still missing like seven of them. Five, six, six of them. So we still got six more to go, but we got another, uh, we at least got a chunk of them. And it's Noah Gregson's Phoenix win and Joey Logano's Clash win. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at them and I'm going to explain the packaging and the cars and just everything about them. So let's start with our, um, uh, with our packaging here. Here you can see we got the Joey Logano car here on its base. We got the Winter Circle card. You'll notice the card uh, is a little, I don't want to say out of kilter, but it's a little out there. It's not quite lined up where it should. Um, you can kind of see it's a little loose. That's normal, so don't get worried. If you see a um, if you see a card like way up here, or frankly, it can be turned even like this. Don't worry about it. This is okay. The card is not damaged. Okay, that's just a weird situation with how they chose to do the packaging, and I'll explain when we put it all back. So uh, we do have the race win card here, Joey Logano Clash at the Coliseum, and then it's got all the stats here in the back. And then we do pop this out here. So it is a foldable and resealable box, just like our sprint cars. And then here you can see Joey Logano, and there's the Clash Win car. Go to the right side. A little bit of a script. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a script on the right front and right rear. So tiny bits of detail, but not much. Uh, the, the stand has a little slot here in the back. That is where you can put the card at. Slide it right down in like that. And then this is what it should be able to look like if you want to set it up on a shelf or something. So uh, that is kind of a neat way to do it. I really like the fact that they brought this kind of idea back with the uh, stand that has the card on it. I'm going to tilt this down so we can see a little better. There we go. But I love the idea that they were able to get these stands back on there so you could actually see them. And, um, you know, you'd have these, uh, the card being able to mount behind it. Uh, they are screwed in. Um, they are screwed in with the triangle head screwdriver, or screws. So you do have to have that special screwdriver bit to be able to make it work. Now, um, this is how you get the, how you would display the car. This is what it would look like. Now, we're going to go back in on how do you put them back, or what's the best way to put them back if you're trying to hang them up and display them. So if you're a person that likes to store things and display them while they're in their packaging, uh, we're going to show you real quick what that should look like. So we're going to zoom out to a one point and I'm going to show you. So I choose to do it this way. I think this is the most effective way to do it. But you put it in flat and you put it in uh, all by itself and you just slide it right in place. Now what you'll notice is there's actually a little indentation right here for where the card normally is you know kind of good. It'll slide into that spot nicely and then you just kind of going to leave that there. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to set this in here like this and you're gonna to wanna to fold it up. And the whole point of this is you're trying to get everything to line up because it is, once it lines up, it's pretty good, but you have to get it to line up the first time uh, to make it stick. So we just kind of go like this, fold it up, pop all the corners in. And just like that, you see this looks almost perfect. That card is right where you want it. You flip around to the back side, the stats are all right where you can read them. And so um, just like that, you're able to really get a good look on the, on the package. The package looks really good. And um, you can hang it up and kind of do whatever you want with it. So like I said, the nice thing is if that card happens to fall loose and turn sideways or it's not in the package real well, pop it open, put it back in. Um, the way you want it, seal it back up, and it can look just like this, very nicely uh, organized or at least laid out. And you'll notice this one's already like that. I actually tried to record this video once, and the tripod fell apart and literally threw my phone on the floor, so I had to redo the video. But anyway, the Noah Gregson, same situation there. We're going to go ahead and pop this open just because we can, because it's been opened before. Uh, but we can go ahead and literally dump that out the back. You can see I actually left the card attached to the base, just like that. Slid it right in that little gap here. So it fit right in place, and that's how it lines up go so good. So for if you're ever wondering what to do to line it up, that is what I chose to do, and it seems to work really well. But there's that Noah Gregson car for the Phoenix win. I really do hope they do all the raced versions like they did in 2007. I'm guessing they're not going to be able to do 3G in the Winter Circle line. Um, I'd love it if they at least released a version of it, uh, because I would love to have a whole season of race wins with these uh, checkered flag kind of victory lane looking stands on them. I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, anyway, yeah, we go ahead and we'll throw this uh, card right back in there. Then we're going to um, gonna go with this tipped up package here. We're going to slide it right into place, card and all. Slide this card in right like this. Then we just fold it up. It is all in place. Snap all our four corners together. And just like that, you can see how nicely both of them look together. 
um, you'll notice they both have the cards lined up where you want them. And that is the proper way, or my version of the proper way. I think it worked, so I'm, I'm not going to complain. But um, that is the way that I think is the easiest to get the most consistent uh, line up so your packaging looks good. So if you're a person that likes to hang these on the wall, that is how you can do it. Otherwise, you can pull them out of their boxes and just use them with their stands like, um, you know, what they literally are built with. So um, the Winter Circle brand, absolutely recommend. I really like this. I know it's a little bit more expensive there, even though they come on the base um, and have the card. And I love the packaging. So that those are the elements that make me really want to support this line. So I know that they are a little bit more expensive than the regular ones, but with the packaging and the little uh, plastic stand that it comes on, I really do like it. Um, so it's a, it's a home run for me. I know I would love if these Winter Circle cars were at the regular Authentics price of like $5.99 or whatever. Um, then they would be an absolute steal, you know, get every wave. But I still think it's a really good deal. I like these Winter Circle cars. I love the idea of separating the Authentics from the raced versions and being able to have real waves like that. I think that's going to look really good. Um, I really hope they stick to this, this package style and they don't change stuff for a while like i need you need a uniform set to really let it continue because once you start changing too much stuff it, it's really hard um to have some kind of consistency with it so um i hope they stick with this i really like it um maybe the only thing is instead of noah gregson and joey logano they have like you know the races that they won so the you know the bushlight clash or whatever you know just whatever it is whatever it happens to be um you know if they can put a 2022 down there just whatever it would be um but otherwise, I really do like the way it looks. I think they look really good. Let me know your thoughts, though, in the comments below, guys. If you've picked up any of these Winter Circle cars, the ones I am missing currently are the Chase Briscoe, Alex Bowman, Kyle Larson, Austin Sindrick, and Zane Smith. Oh, and Austin Hill. So we're missing a bunch of them. Austin Hill, um, I believe Zane Smith, Noah Gregson were all not even made. So all of those were literal uh, cars in the 164th that weren't made. So I'm glad they made it in at least this version because I really like that. And I hope, fingers crossed, they do that for every race win possible. Obviously, they can't do Monster and some of those other ones. But I think it'd be really cool. So... Anyway, guys, uh, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts on the new Winter Circle brand in the comments below. Uh, other than that, though, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze. We'll see you in the next one.